Good evening once again and welcome to Big Budget Business. Let me apologize firstly for the technological mishap that we had earlier on. Uh, and as I was saying, what we seek to do on this show, Big Budget Business, is to ensure that young people, whether in business or professional settings, are inspired to do and be more than they already are. And so today we're speaking to performance coach, author and radio presenter, Mr. Mumpuluki Makwana. Mr. Makwana, Thank you so much for being on Big Budget Business. Big Budget, thank you so much for, for hosting me. You know, I'm super excited to have conversations. Like already we have been having a conversation yeah. be, 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 before the show started. Mm -hmm. We're talking about the impact and how much value we yes. can create in our nation. Yes. If we can borrow from already what I was talking about, J.F. Kennedy, yes. who said, you know, ask not what your country can do for you, but what we can do for it. This is Absolutely. the man who once told the Americans said, we are going to go to the moon. Mm -hmm. And it happened even after he was, a pre before, after he left the president. Oh, this shows the impact that we have, and this show is all about that. It's all about creating impact and shaping our, our, our economy. Absolutely. You yeah. know, I love how we've already started on a high energy level. Yeah. Um, I'm looking forward to a very, very scintillating conversation with you. Yes, sir. Uh, because there are a lot of different aspects that we'll be discussing today, which I feel will be of benefit to a lot of people. And today, not specifically just young people in business, but also people in professional settings. Uh, so... Let me start by getting a brief background of you, Mr. Makwana. Um, tell us the story behind the man. Yeah. Yes. All right. Uh, like I always say, you know, when I was in the U.S. for, for the Mandela Washington Fellowship, I yeah. know you were there in 20, 2018. 2018. <laughs> and I will say I'm Makwana from Botswana. Uh. And people will remember that forever. Wonderful. I am Mumpliki Makwana from Monala Dao. Yes. I'm Mumpliki Makwana from Monala Dao, raised by my mother, my single mother. Mm -hmm. And I'm the firstborn. Okay. And, you know, growing up, there are expectations around that. What you should do, how you should mold your behavior, yes. how you should influence your, your young ones, you know, your, your brothers and siblings. So I grew up with the you know the that spirit to lead yes. uh, even from a young age i remember at my primary school there was a time when i would read the bible verse at the assembly wow. you know i would present before the assembly and read the bible for them yes. when i got go to junior school mm -hmm. you know i would go to attend the police you know workshops and yes. understand about the law you know i wanted to become a lawyer <laughs> by that moment i really wanted to become a lawyer and I'll, I'll, I'll absorb all that information and start sharing it at the assembly at junior school wow. high school wow. the same thing happened I met one book which introduced me to radio when Raone was, was still on radio. Okay. And and the book was called, you know, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. people yes. It transformed the way I look at life. Wonderful. It transformed the way I think about life. And so when I came to the city, I was aware that I can become a nobody or I can establish myself as a brand. Okay. That was at the back of my mind. So right. that attitude has molded the kind of person I am. Yes. I'm a businessman who runs Prime Coaching, you know, mm -hmm. and Prime Public publishers mm -hmm. we also have a product coming called prime you know employee magazine okay. and i also write books the recent one kionia team building guide for workplace effectiveness Wonderful. i am passionate about people development if mm -hmm. there is anything that has to do with helping the next person to see the light at the end of the tunnel Wonderful. i am the right person to do that i call wow. myself the prime coach at the prime coach, prime coach. <laughs> yes <laughs> i like how you said the v prime coach yeah. there's none other yeah, uh, wonderful and we're, we're so happy to have you here you know there was a lot of excitement about um, what you will be bringing to the show today, yep. uh, especially from the perspective of teams and the like and how people can work together mm. to create value. But yeah. we will get into all of this. Yes. We will get into all of this. Let me remind you at home uh, that we are live and we will share a link uh, a bit later during the show that you can click on to call into and ask Mumpuluki Makwana or myself any questions that you have with respect to what we'll be discussing today. Right, so you have spoken about uh, Mumpuluki Makwana, the individual, yeah. the man. Let's talk about this entrepreneurship aspect. Yeah. When did you feel that the knack for entrepreneurship started? When did you get into it and how did you get to where you are today? All right, uh, that's a very good question because normally I normally don't share that part of the story oh, okay. and I never even call myself an entrepreneur if you can see that wow but wow. along the way people are going to see a lot of work that I'm doing that maybe I have not put it out there okay. there's a lot of work that I do but you know my journey big budget started with my mother my yes. mother was an entrepreneurial lady mm -hmm. you know I still remember she was selling some scones mm -hmm. she was selling bread mm -hmm. which when it inspired me that I want to have a bakery at my home village and that wow. is still something that I want to do wow. so she was also selling a lot of you know when I do it 
Mabelong with Simung, Mabele, Dinawa, and stuff like that. We will go to Pique Mall. Well, Pique was still Pique. We will go there and we will sell a lot of stuff. And I still remember myself, you know, selling some oranges. And in my first book, The Birth of Greatness, I explained this moment where there was a point when I was having a conversation with my grandma, my grand, my grandfather, my late grandfather, that when I grow up, I really want to be a businessman. Wow. And that that was coming from seeing my father, my late father, my biological father. Yes. He was a carpenter. He would design chairs. Mm -hmm. I would see cars for Ellerins coming to collect those chairs from my father's yard, wow. going to sell them at stores. And I say, this is something we can create. My mm. grandfather will do things, Tsaholema, Mehoma, and stuff like that. Yes. And people will come to buy bricks from our place. So wow. I've been exposed to that. Mm. So this is the turning point. Okay. When I was doing my studies in university, I got an opportunity to go to Finland Wonderful. to study about you know ecology and forest industry, okay. which I'm very passionate about environmental issues. Okay. So All and right. what happened was when I when I got there, I joined joined Sue Entrepreneurship Society, okay. which was the society Ellen Hore was responsible for cultivating entrepreneurs. Oh. That is why later on in 2019, mm -hmm. when I applied for Mandela Washington Washington Fellowship, yes. I said I want to create a Botswana Entrepreneurship Hub. Okay. Which is something I'm working on, Wonderful. and and so by that moment when I got ex, ex, you know exposed to that, I realized that there are people who make money, yes. and what they did is every Wednesday at Finland 2015, mm -hmm. we'll go into a restaurant, order food. You will stand up and say, hi, my name is Mopuliki Makwana. I have this business and I want to sell to you. Mm -hmm. You know what I pissed by that moment? Yes. I stood before the people for the first time and I said, we, you, you, are you busy at work? Mm -hmm. Are you busy doing something? We can order your food. We can order grocery and drop it at your doorstep. Wonderful. Seven years later, I saw such kind of product being done in Botswana Locally. as my foodness. Mm -hmm. And so that was when the entrepreneurial journey was birthed in me. So when I yes. came back, I said, you know what? I even wrote in my math book, I remember someone laughed and looked. I said, I'm not going to be an employee, I am going to employ people. Wonderful. So that is what launched me into the, the issue of entrepreneurship. Wow. Yeah. yeah, a very rich journey that you have there. And some things that I'm, I'm highlighting here is that uh, it's, it's very passion driven. Yeah. I like how the first thing you said was, it begins with my mother. Yeah, it does. Oh, wonderful. And yeah. it, you know, shout out to all the mothers out there. It was Mother's Day recently. Yeah. So uh, happy belated Mother's Day to all of you out yeah. there. Um, and so it's it's very good for a lot of the stuff to, we do to be uh, coming from a deeper point. Yeah. Another thing you did say when you introduced yourself, you said you started young. In yeah. primary school, you were there reading Bible verses to the school. Uh, junior school, it was the same thing. Junior yeah. high. It was the same thing. So would you say that uh, this has sort of shaped the man that you are today from the very beginning? It has because, you know, I don't sit back and wait for things to happen and say, what was that? Mm -hmm. I want to be at the forefront. And that attitude of wanting to find things out for yourself and wanting to be at the forefront, you know, to paving a path for those who come after you after is you. very crucial. And I realized that it just comes in that. Even when I walk in a store, just an honorary store, there's a certain way people receive me. And I'm mindful of that big budget. I'm yes, mindful because yes, people yes. are hurt, people are going through a lot. And when you get in a space where people, every day they recognize you, not for what you did, not that you are a celebrity, yes. but because the way you carry yourself, yes. that on its own has molded how I am. So I'm really mindful of the kingdomship leadership that I have in me, okay. that even without holding any position in a group, mm. if we can go for a seminar or a conference, yes. people will just start noticing you yes. because of what you have cultivated, not because of favor, not because <laughs> for a, yes. but because of the kind of man I decided. Yes. And that's a key word, I decided mm. that I want to be. Wonderful, yeah. wonderful. You see, I think we're picking up something there about self-conduct. You see, getting into a, a room and having your reputation precede you mm. and people actually respecting you off of just who you are. That's a wonderful That's thing. That's how best you said it. And <laughs> I want to add to that. Yes. You know, I, I said that, there's that same statement that sometimes I go into places where people don't know me, even yes. outside the country. Yes. Iswatini yes. people attended, when I was doing my 2020 growth tour before mm. the COVID, yes. the numbers of Iswatini were more than Botswana. Wow. And my friend said, it's the way you carry yourself. Mm. When you carry yourself in a certain way, there's a level of grace that goes beyond you and speaks for you before you can even speak. Wonderful. And that is something that I, I want to talk about today as we teach people about how to create value, how to become a valuable person.
Yeah. It's a very high energy show that we have today. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, let me remind you that we are live. Please do post your comments in the comment section if you have any questions. We're talking about issues with respect to career development, uh, value creation, and how you can just basically become the best you. Because it's you when you cultivate yourself yeah. and actually nurture yourself into the leader you want to be. True. The world uh, reacts to that. The world reacts to your value. Wonderful, yeah. wonderful. So um, let, let, let's talk about uh, your businesses before we talk yeah. about the more technical aspects. Yeah. Um, tell us about Prime Coaching, its services, the business and its services, as well as Prime Publishers, Publishers yeah. the business and its services. Yeah, I, I want to show you how sometimes when you work on yourself, there are certain opportunities that locate you even if you were not targeting them on the initial phase. Wonderful. They are sitting called big budget yes. that you are going to receive because of doing this show. Mm. Not that you are doing this show for them, no. but because you are creating value and being mindful that you can take a lead and you can impact people. Wonderful. And so when I was doing a radio segment coming from Finland in 2015, mm. when I came back, I saw people of my age having farms supplying milk mm. to big stores. Wow. And I said, why can't we do that? And I, I, I asked myself, what, how do we think as the youth of Botswana mm. to create such a massive businesses at a younger age? And I realized this was the issue of mindset. So when I came back from the exchange program while I was still in school, in 2016, I approached RB2. And I said, you know what? I want to start teaching people about mindset issues, how to cultivate the mind. Yes. Because the battlefield is in the mind, like TDJ will say, right? So now, the program is called Empowering Your Vision. Okay. This was when we were looking at Vision 2016. Yes. I borrowed the name from that. Okay. So now, when I started doing Empowering Your Vision, listen to this. I was wanting to transform people's mind. Yes. I started receiving calls. People say, hey, the business is not okay. I was not wow. having a business. Wow. You get the point. So wow. I w my target was to impact people to see things differently. Mm -hmm. It's Les Brown who said, when you change the way you look at things, the yes. things you look at changes. Wow. So that was my mandate. So I started That's receiving amazing. courses. Can we come to your office? Oh, I need one on one. And so people start dictating what kind of products I should create. Mm -hmm. So out of what, that initiative that you took, yep. that step that you took to say, I will approach RB2. Yep. I will go to them and tell them that I want to change people's mindsets. Yep. Thereafter, you're getting calls that, hey, we'd like to come to your office. <laughs> yeah. we, what is your business? Where exactly. is your business? And it wasn't even there, was there no yet. business. Take that step. It's important to take that step. Yeah. Uh, I think a lot of us, you know, and, and a lot of us have fallen victim to this where mm. you're fearful of mm. taking that first step. Mm. But usually when you take that first step, a whole world can open up to you. Very true. Wonderful. Very true. And, and, and more, to add more to that, there, there's something that really happens, you know, uh, Configures once said the universe com conspires to help the dreamer. So when I started receiving those calls and I started asking people, okay, what are you looking for? No, Nakibatamo, Nakibatata, who are this stuff, Nakibatata, Homo. Wow. Then I went to register the business Prime Coaching. Wow. So Prime Coaching now started registering in that. Now listen to this. Mm. After registering Prime Coaching, I started going around teaching people for free mm. in government institution by the banality meeting every Wednesday. Mm. I'll go there and I'll, I want to come to speak for free. I remember one day I was speaking at the Ministry of Transport mm -hmm. before I even wrote a book. Wow. And when I was making a conversation, after making a presentation, yes. the young man approaches me. Mr. Mm -hmm. Maguan, that was so powerful. Mm -hmm. I loved your story. Where can I buy your books? <laughs> that was a ripple effect of you putting yourself out there and yes. certain opportunities that you have not aimed at, they come automatically to come to you. Come to that you. is what they call the law of attraction. Yes. When you take that step, there's a certain things that fall into place. So mm -hmm. after I realized that, I started looking at my story and I, I wrote the book, The yes. Birth of Greatness. Birth of I greatness. was introducing who Mumpuliki Magwana was. Yes. And after writing my book, Big Budget, mm -hmm. people started asking me, where did you publish? Do you have a publishing business? <laughs> I opened a publishing business. It was a ripple effect of yes. me not doing many things. Mm -hmm. I hear people say I'm doing many things. I don't do many things. Mm. I empower people, whether wow. through my voice, my radio, the my books, work. my business, yes. written work. One thing that is in different forms. Wow. You get the point. So that's how business were established. But now let's look at the market and 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 you know the business environment. Mm. The business environment responds to value. Yes. And how you price yes. your business, the services you offer. People respond with regards to the stories people are telling about your business. Mm. So I, I've seen the magic of how Botswana business works. All right. In Prime Tell us coaching. about that. Yes. When, when, when we, we do coaching for staff, mm. 
when we do coaching for employees, when we do coaching for, you know, there, there was a program where people, I didn't think about it, but people started inviting me to their families on Sundays to come and talk to their families on issues affecting family issues. Then I started doing Ignite or family program. Oh, wow. That is just how God expands himself when you are available to serve. So now oh, wow. the secret is being able to create value to this one client. I help people say, I, 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 just ask me a simple question because we want to fit in that, hey, I'm making big money. Mm -hmm. I know I just have 100 clients. Mm -hmm. I listen to someone who say, ah, oh, no, I just have one client. one client. And I say, if you can take care of that one client, this one client will bring one billion client. He said, wow. if you can make 10 pula, you can make 10,000. Mm -hmm. So the attitude of being able to serve the one person you yes. meet, yes. they will speak. This week, I received four people from one client. So, people from one client. From one client. So, <laughs> you never know whom the people are representing when they come to your workplace. Yes. So, at Prime yes. Coaching, yes. we yes. develop people. So, we are pro our programs are focused on staff development. Mm -hmm. They're pro they focused on one-on-one -on -one leadership. Okay. I do career development. It's called the Career Corner, mm -hmm. which actually started in the lockdown. Mm -hmm. And the business, I was wondering, what are we going to do? Mm -hmm. People start calling. You know, things are changing. Yeah. We want to improve on how climate. we can position ourselves. Mm -hmm. Or oh, the fourth industrial revolution that I, I created a program called Career Corner. I was coaching HR managers, wow. business leaders, one-on-one, yes. -on -one, Zoom mm -hmm. calls, and they were willing to pay. Why? Because mm -hmm. it's the value and the track record matters. We don't have to become Definitely. billionaires today, Definitely. but we have to create value today. So that's what Prime Coach is all about. Wow. Thank you so much. Point is there. And I hope we're taking notes at home because, <laughs> like, you know, I, 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 I had another guest on the show and I said, I really wish I, I, I brought my notepad here. Yeah. And today it's the same sentiment <laughs> if yeah. I had my notepad here. Yeah. You're talking about how taking the first step had a ripple effect, yeah. a domino effect, mm. in, in, the, in the sense that um, most of your businesses came to you. They came to me. Yeah. Having taken that first decision, as you said, mm. I decided. It's important for us to know what exactly we want. Let's decide. Mm. Thereafter, the opportunities came to you. And business after business, business. Because now I'd, I'd term you a serial yeah. entrepreneur. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. Serial entrepreneur because um, this turned into that. This brought that. Exactly. And, and it, I like how you mentioned that the creation of value. We should never underestimate that one client because that one client... It, it speaks to the power of word of mouth. True. You see, that value that you created for that one client was then communicated to others True. who then came to you. Yeah. You also said something very important there. You said, never underestimate that individual that comes to you. Mm. You know, because a lot of us will say, no, you know, my specific target is this. Is this or yeah. my specific, uh, my uh, ideal client this. Yeah, yeah. is this and that. And also, whereas you don't know what kind of value you can unlock from the very person who has come through your door. So it's important for us not to really have judgments per mm. se and see how we can just focus on creating value. Let me add to that. Yes. You, a, a, as long as you live, mm. never ever box yourself with a title. Box yourself with a title. Because every day you are becoming something you have never seen. Wonderful. When I'm making this presentation and my mother being on Facebook, she is seeing someone she had not seen yesterday. Wonderful. What we experience before we sleep, what we read and what we understand and our exposure expands us to become the beast that we never knew we could become. Yes. If I could have asked you 17 years ago, you oh. wouldn't be telling me about big budget business. Sure. Not at all. So, but you opening up to opportunities. Yes. Let me yes. borrow the words of the great philosopher who started personal development, Jim Rohn. He oh, said, yes. embrace Giant. all experiences. Mm. You never know which one will turn everything on. Wow. And so every day when you wake up with the attitude to serve, you don't have to be serving at the CEO all the times, yes. but you have to inherit the CEO mindset yes. that even when you are rubbing the shoes, even yes. when you are cleaning the set, yes. even when you are putting the camera, yes. even when you are, you, are, you, are, you are shooting the live feed, mm. that you want to be the best of the best that you can possibly be. Wow. Because you may think because you are biased, there's mm. biased consciousness, yes. there's borrowed belief system in yes. us yes. to think, oh, no, no, I'm the speaker. Mm. I don't know what I'm going to become tomorrow. Very I will true. be lying if I tell you. Very so true. if I can do my best today mm. and people looking from the outside and say, Mona, how strike our defender? Yes. then I have to get to defending and do the work. So that is very crucial in you becoming a person of value. Yes. When I said the birth of greatness, mm -hmm. and then I was talking about every day I'm birthing the new me. Yes. 
Yes. And as your as an executive, as a business person, yes. Yes, you are selling oranges. But if someone comes to your shop every day, but not about that, about the apple. Man, you need to change and sell might as well. the apple because that's what the market is telling you absolutely, to do. But but absolutely. most of the time we are stuck and you know, hey, mm, people know me as rigid. this. We are rigid. You know, you people see. normally say that what? Ah, oh, mm. people know me as this. Yes. And I want to say this to our viewers: mm. people don't know you as that. Wow. You are someone who is ever evolving. evolving. And today, if you can decide that every day I'm going to become better and better and better. Yeah. And we deal with the rigidity that you're talking about. Yes, exactly. So this rigidity for us to lose that, it requires continuous improvement. It does. Continuous for those in professional settings, mm. continuous professional development. Everywhere. So that tomorrow, like you're saying, mm. I'm not the same big budget that I was mm. yesterday. Yeah. We are constantly evolving. Wow, this is a high-powered interview. And uh, you, you already have a comment here from Lulu Bontle Lesiapeto who says, loving this. She's a very great professional Loving when this. it comes to PR issues. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Lulu, for joining me. Wonderful. Thank yes. you so much, Lulu, for that. Yeah. You know, and then here's Lavik. He says, powerful. Wonderful. Thank you, you so see, much, Lavik. This, this, yeah. this is great. You and know? please let, let us know where you're watching from. Oh, yes, that would yes. be great. Definitely. Please yeah. let us know where you're watching from. Yeah. Um, you know, and there's something that I'm going to talk about at the end of the show, yeah. which is very, very much uh, tied to what you said. Yeah. Let us know where you're, you're commenting or calling in from. Yeah. Uh, Another one, embrace all experiences. This is Keith Tafadzoa Kanengoni. He says, embrace all experiences. Yeah. Thanks. He's yeah. picked up something there. So, you know, thank you so much for those comments. Let's keep them coming. Let's engage. Um, we will share a link. Uh, I think it should be in a few minutes, which you can use to call into the show if you'd like to speak to Mumpuliki Makwana about anything that we'll be talking about today. Uh, yeah. For the sake of time, because I'm sure... <laughs> We can spend uh, like yeah. hours here. Um, let's talk about this issue of career development. Yeah. Career development, career growth. Mm. Why would you say that that is important for individuals? And and at the word today, why is it important oh, today? today? I like that. I like that. Be yes. Because I'm mindful of seasons, big budget. Yes. You know, years back, you will go from varsity and the job will be ready for you. Mm. I was listening to one teacher in my tour, you know, the 2021 Dominate Leadership Tour. Yes. And she was saying, you know, normally when, when I finished my school, the job was waiting for me. Today is yeah. not the same. That's not the and same. And here's what Absolutely. I want to start with big budget. Yeah. I want to start this conversation with this information that, you know, great jobs are not found. Mm. Great jobs are not found, they are created. Yes. You create jobs by creating opportunities for yourself. Wonderful. So it's no longer of the outward looking. It's about what do I have to create a position for myself. Yes. When I finished my varsity, can I tell the truth? Mm -hmm. There was an application that was open and I applied for something that I was not qualified for. Mm -hmm. The owner of the business called me and said, we, we see so much value in what you do. Wow. We want to create a position for you. Wow. They even set up an office for me. Wow. I had two offers. Then yes. I, I, unfortunately, I had to let it go yes. to join the other business. But it's about you being able to look within you and say, what do I have? in me that I can refine, package, and market. Refine, package, and market. Hold that thought, because I was going to talk about this issue of positioning yeah. also. Uh, yes, you've created this job for yourself, but yeah. now let's look at in a competitive or not necessarily, comp okay, competitive in business environment and then also in our employee settings. Yes. How am I supposed to, or how can I, as an employee, position myself to be the noticed one or the one mm. who creates the most value? Wow, that's powerful because this is what I, I shared in what amazing employees do. What amazing employees, employees do. And let me pick just one subject from it. Perfect. Perfect. You know, they, they are value orientated and not talk orientated. Perfect. Like People that. can say what they say. Yes. Words are limited, but behavior is universal. Yes. One of my mentors uh, who wrote, you know, this book, The Vibrant Workplace, yes. you know, uh, Dr. Paul White, mm -hmm. he said, words are noise. Mm -hmm. He said, when you go in a forest, and you see these monkeys and they are jumping. This one monkey is full of energy. Yep. It starts moving from, from one branch to another. Yes. Sooner or later, monkeys start joining it into rhythm. Mm. And you have a mob of monkey, monkeys moving. Yes. It didn't say anything. It was behaving. Yes. And today, when you want to position yourself, everyone can talk for themselves. Wonderful. Everyone can speak for themselves. But value speaks more volume even when you are not there to speak. Yes. You being able to go an extra mile, becoming an extra mile person, becoming, you know, a result-oriented person, 
it may not it may seem that it does not pay off in our continent today yes. in our country today big budget i'm mindful when mm. i teach thousands of employees yes. thousands of business leaders today yes. that yes. people think that ah now i've been doing the work and people don't recognize me mm. the the job market is shifting by 2025 mm. many people and half of our country people are going to be jobless and those who are going to have jobs are not those who are hired, but those who hire themselves. Mm -hmm. And therefore, value creation is not for the boss. Value creation is not for your business leader. Mm -hmm. Value creation is not for the president. It's for you and your family. Wow. And being able to sit down and say, what skills do I have? What information? We're talking about the information-based economy. Yes. Knowledge-based economy. Yes. And I tell people all the time, in the next 20, 25, in the next 25, 50 years, mm -hmm. you are not going to be using a passport or a visa to go to other countries. Mm -hmm. They are going to be asking you, what do you know that our people don't know that we yes. should allow you to come here? Yeah, and therefore, when you are not mindful that wonderful. you need to create something in you, mm -hmm. that when your time comes, your interview come, mm -hmm. your promotion come, yes. you are ready. You saw are what you I posted ready? on LinkedIn last, yes. last week. Yes. Are you ready? Are you ready? Pre we were talking about the issue preparation. of pre preparation, preparedness. You yeah. see, they said, I heard someone say, luck is when preparation meets opportunity. That's it. So when you are prepared, keep yourself prepared. So you're saying, in essence, that career development is not necessarily for me to say, okay, for my boss mm. or maybe for the business I'm leaders. Or for, no, no, no. It's for me and my family, such that when an opportunity arises, I find myself positioned mm. and ready. Let me let me get into the contents, uh, yeah. the, the comments here. Um, we have, yes, thank you. Uh, you responded. Somebody says here, no, it's Keith Tafadzo Akanengoni who says, watching from Joburg, SA. That's beautiful. Lovely, SA. lovely, lovely. From Khabaroni to the world, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah. Um, and now the, I can see that the the link has been shared. If you would like to call in and speak to us, we're having a very high power engagement here. Uh, if you'd like to call in, speak to us, please click on that link and we will receive you and um, hear whatever it is that you have to say too. Um, I was also now going to talk about uh, the fourth industrial revolution because yeah. that, that's the, the order of the day. Uh, yeah, that's uh, you, the, the talk of the, the mm. town. Mm. The fourth industrial revolution for IR, what is this issue? For someone at home who might not understand, what is this issue and how does it affect me, either as a young business person or a young professional? I want to go back to my my my, <laughs> my degree now economics. Okay. All when right. I, we're, we're talking, we, we've been a labor-intensive economy, okay. which means people have been doing the work. Yes. And now we are moving from labor-intensive economy, like what China is, yes. to a more technologically intensive economy, yes. which means machines are doing the work. Yes. And mark my way, there are people who think machines are Botswana is is backwards. Machines are going it to come take ten some years. Time. It, it, will... it is already <laughs> here. It's here. It's already here. It, it's here. And and sometimes that is just an app that can be able to collect calls mm. and forward them to someone. Yes. And that is three people losing their job. Wow. Sometimes just a filing system that collects you know, the files and reports. Yes. Four people loses the job. Wow. And it's a small but steady. Remember in mm. junior school when you're talking about the theory of evolution, gradual change. But where are the dinosaurs today? And the next 10 years, 50 years, it will be where are the employees today? Where are the business managers today? Mm -hmm. Why? Because technology is taking over. Absolutely. We, we went Absolutely. to Amazon. We went to see, yes. you know, how they do that stuff. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. machines were picking boxes. Wow. Now they are developing robots to do deliveries. Imagine. The scooters are going out the of the way. Are already Hundreds doing a lot of, of work. people. Exactly. Yeah. So this is what is happening. Mm -hmm. So and this is one thing that I want to share yeah. today. If someone wants to apply for a job in Botswana from South Africa, they can do so and start working tomorrow without the work permit. Mm -hmm. And that means today you're not competing with Mopuliki on a big budget, you're competing with millions of other people in Africa. Wonderful. So your ability to identify what's your superpower, mm. what are you really, really great at, what are you really, really good at, will be very crucial in building, you know, your, 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 your positioning mm. in your job, your job market, in your business, and in your job. Wow, I think we have a call there. Uh, I'm not too sure the team tells me that we have a call. Um, I'm not sure if I can hear. Hello, Kola. How are you? Hi. Hi. My name Hi. Is yes, Kola. We can hear you. Great show, by the way. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Tell, tell us who you are, where you're calling from. Oh, my name is Timisang. I'm in Moshopa. Wonderful. Wonderful. Everyone. What's your question? Or my comment? question is, because you've, I feel like you've already understood that 
most part we don't like to take risk you can empower us as much as you want but we never do it you know so i'm wondering since you guys are so empowered and because you are not afraid to take the risks maybe do those businesses and maybe venture into like venture capitalism as the americans did it so that you actually employ these people who don't want to take risks because you guys know it that as no matter how much you can empower us we're not gonna do it because i feel like maybe we should find another approach i don't know because it seems like it's not working mm. it's just gonna be like that for forever i don't know wow to me sang thank you so much for that you thank said, you so much you did say to me sang right um, oh okay no thank you so much for that oh I think we can see you there. Oh, hi. Hi, Tim Sang. You just appeared on our screen. <laughs> oh, okay. Right. Um, so, do you want to, to, to tackle that first? Yeah, I want right. to. Okay. Uh, I, I, I like how she, she really put it that Botswana is not like things gonna, are going to change. Oh, yes. it, it just happened, you know, uh, what, what he talked about, Dr. Charles Darwin. Yes. Species which are not willing to change mm. faces extinction. It's please, okay. Please, please, please repeat that. <laughs> Species which are not willing to adapt to the changing environment, they face extinction. Oh. And it is already happening mm. that there is someone who did a course in the 19 year old Yes. There are 10, 15 courses. Wow. There are people, you know, in this era, I've seen a quote in Facebook that there are people who are going to become millionaires, billionaires, and those who just watch. <laughs> We are going to wow. have people who just watch. And it's okay. We always have audience in the stadiums, in the arenas. But what I can challenge an individual Motswana at home who is willing to secure the future of their kids, secure the future of their countries, they must be willing to remove the attitude that things can never change. Mm. I wrote about it in the, my book, Embrace Your Greatness, the first chapter where I said, do with what you can deal with and let go of that which you cannot deal with. Wow. And I, I, ex, I, I expanded more about the fixed mindset uh -huh. and the flexible mindset wow. that there are people who say it can never happen. Mm. That people who say it cannot happen, but I'm going to do something. Yes. And those I people who do something, who mm. try, mm. they end up becoming the best of the best. Imagine. You know, average is so normal that people who are trying are the best. <laughs> so now you... <laughs> So that is, that is the attitude that we are seeing in our country today. Yes, and I'm so yes. happy to be receiving that because one of the things why we say things like that mm -hmm. is because we are not exposed. Okay. If you can just right. go mm -hmm. and you celebrate Magwana as they celebrate him, mm -hmm. and you go to a conference in Southern African conference, mm -hmm. and you see young people of my age, the things they are doing, yes. you will come yes. back and cry in your room mm -hmm. and say, I'm not doing anything. Exposure is one thing that I challenge our people to do. Wow. Exposure is wow. even just moving from Ko Manala Dao, which is my village, mm -hmm. to come into Francistown and just seeing people, how they do things, and just opening up your mm -hmm. mind. So yes. that is very crucial. Wonderful. Thank you for that. I take it that to me, Sang, I think she's, uh, yeah, the line has cut. To me, Sang, you were answered there. Let's try our best to embrace change. Let's not be, we did talk about rigidity. Mm. Mm. And, and I think also the mindset that uh, we're never going to, we're never going to, mm. we need to have, you said, a, fle a flexible mindset mm. rather than a fixed, a fixed mindset. mindset. Yeah. Because a fixed one will lead to the extinction. Mm, you did say, I asked you to repeat that. <laughs> yeah. Say species, it once again. Species which are not willing to adapt, they will face extinction. Will face extinction. And if it means the whole country of Botswana face extinction and people come in to take our homes, then it will be. Wow, and that's a very scary thought. So let's see how we can develop ourselves and try and avoid this extinction extinction mm -hmm. that he, he talks about. Um, thank you so much for that. Uh, if you'd like to call in, we're still live do please do so if you'd like to comment please continue keeping your comments coming um right i i was going to ask now how can we access the services of prime coaching and prime publishers uh, prime publishers you didn't really touch much on that maybe just a brief introduction of prime publishers okay and what it does with prime publishers we publish books sort of something like this we do take your script from a, a handwritten or from a computer written and then we transform into a product like this and then we help you going forward on how you can market your book and get it out there when i was in the u.s i managed to meet the people from the brooklyn book, book festival wow. which is one of the leading in the world two women older women mm -hmm. that are doing a massive work and they were interested in us creating partnership and taking our literature to America. Wow. That is something we're working on yes. with Methia Hama. We're going to have the, the writer's workshop and coaching sessions. Wonderful. People who are wanting to write anything, yes. poems, 
business issues, we are willing to cultivate that literature and take it out to the people. So we publish books at Prime Publishers and we do coaching at Prime Coaching. You can contact us on our Facebook page, Prime Coaching, or my page, Mompuliki Makwana. My number is 74776196. 74776196. Wonderful. Uh, before I let you go, yeah. there's one thing that I think we didn't really touch on. We did speak about how, um, as an employee um, working in an organization, how I can create that value, yeah. fine, and stand out. And yeah. you did say it's for me, it's yeah. not necessarily for anyone yeah. else. Yeah. But let's talk about a bit about team dynamics, especially mm. because you have this book, yeah. Team Building Guide for mm. Workplace Effectiveness. Yeah. Team Building Guide for Workplace in Effectiveness. Talk to us a bit about team dynamics. What are your thoughts on this issue? And how can we best leverage our team's team efforts to create value? I, I realize that when I work with individuals, say, that there are teams leaders who don't know their people well. And you cannot get the best out of people who don't know. Even mm. in a relationship, you cannot please a girl or a man hey. whom you don't know what they like. Hey. So the ability to draw... <laughs> <laughs> the ability to draw down to understanding human dynamics. Yes. And in this book, I talked about values. Yes. You know how some organizations say, you know, this, exactly. this, 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 this. Where this is written by the people in the team or the mm. business leader. Wow. The business leader most of the time. Mm -hmm. And then they are not operating on that. So being able to understand the values, the big budget, you know, there are companies where I was working at that, that really gave birth, gave birth to this book, What Amazing Employees Do. Mm. They would allow me to go to the Yale Regional. They will allow you to yes. go to Mandela Washington Fellowship. Yes. They will allow me to go for a month yes. and they will still pay me exactly. because they understood what I stand for. Yes. They understood what I want to represent. Wow. They saw me impacting Botswana, not only the organization. Yes. Exactly. You get, so the man. ability to understand your teams is your secret to your business success. Understand your People team. don't buy. There's a statement that I open with here that okay. I, I want to share, I, I want to close with. Share a bit Customers will only love a company when employees love it first. Those are the words of Sim Simon Sinek. Customers will only love a company when employees love it first. Yes. Are people coming to buy from you? Because people don't come to buy products. They come to buy from people. Mm. They come to buy from identities. And Experience. when you are able to identify mm. your people, when you are able to nature your employees, if you make your employees happy, yes. they will make your customers happy. So you being able to identify really what do my employees like? Do they like a party at December and they want yes. a trip? Do they, or is it a whole budget? But allow them to understand what they want. Authentic, yes. real value appreciation. Is it more thing? Ah, you, you're the lesson that Monala uh, picking. You know, one Some employees don't have cars. Yeah, that's true. And that's being true. able to identify that, okay, this is what we have within our teams. Mm. That's when our businesses, we can have better customer service. We have poor customer service in Botswana. Wow. And it's because we don't cultivate our people. Mm. They think they represent their boss. Wow. While they don't know that they represent their own future, mm. when customers don't come, they lose jobs. Wow. That is something we need to understand. Wow. When customers don't come, Sure, they're about to lose their jobs. Exactly. This has been such such a wonderful conversation, and I'm sure we'll have you here again. Uh, Mr. Mumpuliki Makwana, thank you so much uh, for being on the show. It's been wonderful, uh, and we've, it's, been been, it's been highly insightful. So yeah. thank you so much. You did say where people can reach you. Yeah. Uh, you did you speak about your socials? Sorry. Yeah, I, I talked it. about uh, Mumpuliki mm -hmm. on social media, Instagram. Yes. Please, let's connect on LinkedIn yes. to talk about the issue of profession, and also go after God's heart. Wow, that's wonderful. Thank you so much, Mr. Okwana, for being here. Yeah, thank you so much. Right. So uh, please don't uh, shift or go anywhere. Uh, we'll be just going for a short ad break and then we will be back. All my enemies will suffer my wrath, but those of my household will enjoy my embrace. I refuse to let my weakness get the best of me. Be more hard and less attack. Right, so at the end of every episode of Big Budget Business, what we do is we give a two-minute tip for young people in business or in their professional settings. 
But today, we will not necessarily be giving you a tip per se, but rather a vote of thanks and a note of appreciation to all of our viewers. We are proud to say here at Black Network and Moana Pictures and myself as Big Budget that we are 25 episodes into big budget business. And this is all because of your support as our viewers at home. Those comments that you keep coming, those calls that you make on all these different shows, they mean the world to us. And here's to many more episodes and more growth. Let's continue to grow together. Thank you so much for 25 episodes of Big Budget Business. So before we leave, we always remind you and to never, ever, ever forget that you were born for so much more. Till the next episode, it's good night and God bless. All my enemies will suffer my wrath, but those of my household will enjoy my embrace. I refuse to let my weakness get the best of me. Be more hard and less attack.